When I started doing my nails, I struggled a lot. From nail lifting, overfilling the cuticle area, and sometimes not really getting what the customer needs. To me, it was never about making money. It was about acquiring and perfecting my skill. And through my journey, I've learned that as the small things that makes all the difference. I'm gonna share with you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get your nails done. The first step involves wiping your nail surfaces to remove any dust particles. You also have to work your way around the cuticle area that involves like removing any shiny part or any dead skin around the cuticle area. When you remove the skin around the cuticle area, you want to make sure that you're only removing the dead skin, not the live skin, and you want to be careful not to hurt the customer. After you are done doing that, you want to go on with like a very soft file to remove the shiny part of your nail. The reason why you have to do this is to make sure that you're going to avoid lifting in the future. You don't want to go too hard on this process. While you are filing your nail, you can get the opportunity to like shape your nail to whatever shape you want so that you kind of groom them and nurture them while they are under your false nails. You want to keep on like using the alcohol cleanser to remove any dust particles because you do not want anything that will get in your way. The next step is to take like your false nail tips. I use the shape one because I want to reduce the work. I don't want to spend like a lot of time filing and all that. So these are the nails that I'm going for. You have to find a nail that fits perfectly with your natural plate. And you don't want to go for like a smaller nail or a bigger nail. If you do not find the size, you can always find a bigger nail and kind of like um, file it at the tips to make sure that it fits perfectly. After that, you want to go on with your driller or filer or anything that works for you to remove the shiny part where you're going to put the glue. This will avoid lifting in the future. Stick your nail and make sure that it's straight and not facing in weird directions. You want to repeat this process until you are done with all the nails. Remember, don't forget to drill that part so that it does not like lift whenever you bath or anything like that. After you've finished sticking your nails, you want to go on with a filer. You want to like file away the shiny part of the false nails. This will also avoid lifting of the builder gel or whatever building thing you're gonna use. As you guys can see, I kept on saying file the shiny part because I made a mistake in the past because I realized that my nails were lifting and I went on and did more research. And then I found that they are lifting because of like the shiny particles or like the oils from the natural skin. This was me, I was like really capturing like an Instagram moment there. And this is a very important process, you need a primer. A primer just like in makeup, when you do not apply a primer, your makeup can easily wear off. Even here with nails, you need to apply your primer so that your nails can stick for long and not lift. When you are applying a primer, you want to make sure that you cover the entire natural plate such that there is no any chance of lifting. You need to go on and cure for 30 seconds. After a primer, you need to follow in with a bonder. 
A bonder is like a glue between your builder gel and your natural nail. It also ensures that your nails are going to stick for long. And just like the primer, you need to cover all the nail, all the natural nail surfaces. Here for 30 seconds. This is the builder gel I've been talking about. And with the builder gel, you're gonna need a monomer. A monomer is a liquid that you're gonna need like to be dipping your brush now and then to avoid it to be sticky. And a monomer also helps you to manipulate the gel when you find it a bit stickier or maybe harder to manipulate. When you are shaping the builder gel, you want to make sure that you play away from the cuticle area. You want to make sure that you do not overfill the cuticle area. And as you guys can see, I feel like I put a lot of the builder gel, so it's okay. I can always like remove a bit and go on and reshape again. One thing that I love about a builder gel, builder poly gel, is that it does not dry until you cure it. So you have all the time to correct your mistake and reshape and even remove it if you have to. This is just my hack that I use to like make patterns when I want to add like maybe a white color or any color. So you guys will see how it's gonna like and how it's gonna play out at the end. Remember, you have to cure the other builder gel before you apply the other color. This will avoid mix up or any kind of, any kind of like um, incorrectness or whatever you want to call it. This is what I was going for. And I hope you guys can see how I did it and you can put it like in your hack tips whatever and you want to repeat that process with all other nails and make sure that you play away from the cuticle area you see that do not overfill the cuticle area because it does not look cute it does not look professional Um, one thing that I like doing is like curing every nail sing, like separately because I'm very clumsy. If I don't cure a nail, I'll just like, you know, make a, one big mess. So I prefer curing every nail separately. After you cure your nail, you want to go on with a very coarse file and file away like the top part of the builder gel. You can also go on with your driller to like remove any potholes, clumps or anything really and just file away to maybe close to perfection. Um, during this process, you have a chance to like also correct any overfilling that you might have done by the cuticle area there and you want to be really careful with this step because you also don't want to hurt the customer therefore it is very very important not to feel overfill it on the first place 
after that i'm done i'm happy i'm gonna use my buffer to like buff away any coarse surfaces and just to level up everything and now it's deco time these are like my decorating things that i use i really love them they add like my touch to like my designs and they just give my nails some kind of uniqueness or i don't know i love them When you are doing your deco, you want to use a filling gel. I used to use a top coat and I realized that my decos fall off as time goes. So you need to use a filling gel because it, it is like a bit more thick. Therefore, it's gonna like help encapsulate your decos. Therefore, they won't go anywhere as long as your nails are on. After you are done with your deco you want to go on with like a top coat to like finish everything and just to make everything look professional and go ahead and cure it and I think that you'll be done literally. And once you're done, you want to go on with like your cuticle oil. This helps like to nourish the skin and to to add nutrients to the skin. And you want to go with your cuticle oil, rub it around your cuticle area and you are done. 